close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel the breathing. And try to keep your awareness right at that sensation. It's going to focus on other things as well, but just drop those. Thoughts coming through the mind, sounds you hear. Just let them pass. Let them pass. Hang on to the sensation of the, of the body, the breathing in the body. And try to make it as comfortable as you can. You can try long breathing or short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Try to find a way of breathing that feels really good for the body right now, because the needs of the body change. Sometimes it feels best with long breathing, other times with short. So get in touch with what it needs right now, because you want to stay here in the present moment with as much sensitivity as you can, because you begin to notice the movements of the mind, things you never noticed before. That's what the meditation is all about, to see things you never saw before in your mind, see it in action. Because we can talk about the mind in the past or in the future, but it doesn't really have the same impact as seeing it actually moving around in the present moment, seeing what it does, and seeing where it's creating a lot of unnecessary stress and suffering for itself. If you can see that in action, you can see that it's unnecessary, then you can drop it. You're creating less, less of a burden for the mind. When the mind isn't burdened, then it's, it's capable of a lot more than it ordinarily would be. So see what you can unburden yourself of. Thoughts, perceptions, ideas, feelings. They come up, just let them go. You don't have to carry them around. And you begin to notice that the way you deal with these things really does weigh the mind down. So give the mind right now a chance to be its own person. In other words, don't have to take on any other thoughts, any other responsibilities right now. Just the responsibility of being in the present moment, looking after the mind in the present moment. You want to be alert to what's going on and keep in mind the fact that you want to stay here. And if you find that you're not staying here, we'll put some effort into staying here. Meditation isn't just relaxation. There has to be a certain amount of effort as well. But it's skillful effort, an effort that's good for the mind. So it takes some time to give the mind its space and to give it some training so it can be more sensitive to what it's doing and then engage with its own thoughts and engage with the things coming in from outside in a much more skillful way. That way you create less stress and suffering for yourself and less for other people too. So you're not the only one who benefits. As the Buddha said, the mind well-trained brings happiness, and that's a happiness that spreads around. You find that you're giving into greed, aversion, and delusion less than you were before. Okay, well, you're not the only one who benefits. The people around you will be less burdened by your greed, aversion, and delusion, too. So for their sake and yours, take a good look at your mind right now. Give it a good solid base in the present moment so you can see it in the present moment. Now we can learn how to deal with it a lot more effectively. <laughs>